Hi, this is Mike Furchis and Jen over here with Real People Real Life in Wichita, Kansas, America. America. Back with you here. Jen, I'm going to pretend that we're going to, I'm going to try to sell you a vehicle. Absolutely. Okay? Do, you like wa do you like water? I, yes. Do, these I'll things, pretend. Okay. <laughs> I, love, I love going to Afton or Cheney or any of the lakes around here. Uh, one thing I've never had that I want to get is a watercraft. And I'm shocked at how affordable they are. They, they range anywhere from about Oh, six grand down up to this one right here is about 13 two. Yeah. That one right there is about 15. Yeah, and I Those. saw some down there that were running six-ish. Yeah, yeah. And you can you can always find a used one as well. By the way, there's a great used uh, store here right next attached to uh, Midwest Powercraft here. Oh, yeah. That has a lot of stuff. But th these things right here, if you're wanting to, I've always called these motorcycle on wheels, so it's kind of unique that they're selling them at a motorcycle shop. Yeah, it is. So if you've never seen one, you're basically going to just sit on it. This one looks like you could probably fit three passengers here. You have the running board. Uh, they're, they're almost impossible to sink, which people don't know about. And you get on and you can ride those waves and jump the jump the waves in the lake. I've seen them. I was just at the ocean last week. A lot of people riding them out in the ocean as well. And uh, the thing about these right here, there's usually a safety feature. You know, like what's going to happen if you fall off, which is possible. Oh, yeah, sure. So there's a safety feature that if you fall off, that the watercraft will stop right where you're at and sometimes they'll circle back to you and stop. So very safe. Uh, I would recommend life jackets sure. because even if, you're, uh, even if you're a proficient swimmer like this former lifeguard 40 years ago was uh, and you love the water and you're in it as much same as anything if you have an accident you fall off the water it can be harder you can knock yourself sure. out if you're not careful. Uh, that's why I'd always recommend a life jacket. But these things right here are incredible. I'm amazed at how big it is. I this don't a, this know is that a, I've ever been next to one. Yeah, this one right here is a little bit bigger than this one. That one right there, you could probably, uh, right behind you there, I think you could probably fit two people. But yeah. you could fit four people on this very comfortably. Especially if you're looking at a dad, a mom, and a couple of kids. Yeah, you don't much trouble. Now, one thing, do you remember what they used to call them? We know them as wave runners now. But you yeah. remember the old terminology? Do you remember the old name? Uh -oh. The old name was Jet Ski. Oh, well, Jet Ski, yeah, sure. Okay, they still sure. make those. Those are, I did try to ride a Jet Ski one time. Those are not for beginners. The difference <laughs> between a Jet Ski and this is you're basically on a, a motorcycle, or a motorcycle. On a Jet Ski, you're basically, that handle comes down, and you come up and you lift that handle, and it's like you're skiing. Oh, okay. So you have to have a little bit more balance. There's one yeah. actually at the end of the line so down here. So you're kind of more standing up as opposed to sitting down, is you're, that what you mean? Exactly. Okay. Not only are you standing up, but you're having to, there's a lot more balance that's right. involved. Okay. Basically on this, if you can sit and you can cock a wrist and pull a handle, you're good to go. Interesting. Uh, so, okay. Yeah. So these are the Wave Runners. Okay. And uh, so anyway, they have a great selection here at the store. Uh, and we encourage folks to look. And especially if you don't have it made for a new one, check out for the used ones next door as well. Yeah. Great product. A lot of fun if you love the water. It'd be a great introductory motorcycle for me. <laughs> and then if you get the one four seats, you can always call me up and say, hey, Mike, you all want to come out? And, well, can I take me for a ride on the water? You know, no, I'm, I'm going to take you for a ride, and then you can ride. There you go. I'll pay for the gas, and then you'll pay for the, pay for the jet <laughs> yeah, ski or the wave runner. All righty. So, Shall we go do some more shopping? Yeah, there's a lot of great bikes. So let's look at some of them. I'll see if we can find one that fits you. I think that okay. sounds great. Okay. Now, Jen, on this one right here, what you can do, there's some sand dunes down in Oklahoma. Yeah, I've you can heard go, about that. You can go down there. You can just turn this thing wide open. Now, I don't know. I would. You could probably do it on some of the prairie out here in Kansas. Oh, yeah. But don't do it on the protected prairie lands. You have to, oh. If you go there, you might get in trouble. Okay. These things right here will flat out book. And, uh, of course, they usually have a four-point harness. There you go. they got the four-point okay. harness. Okay. They have the safety built-in seats uh, that's going to pad you in pretty good uh, for when you do wreck because if you're doing what you're supposed to do on this thing right here, there's a reason this row cage exists. You are going to wreck. But these, these things are built to take a beat and keep on going. It looks like fun. I, you had to put me in it, so now I kind of want to go. Yeah. I don't know. We're blocked in, so I don't know if we can get out or not. <laughs> <laughs> you don't we can, think we can get up and over the one in front of us? Well, we have to get out over that one somehow and get the door open. We have to get over two of them to get it outside where we can have a lot of fun. Well, we might try. Yeah. So these are running uh, the... It's kind of, about 22, I think, yeah. retail new. Plus, there's a, a three grand off of that, so you're looking yeah. at what less than twenty on there's this one right here. On it. They're they're not cheap. Uh, it's not like a five thousand, six thousand dollar wave runner. No. But for the person, you know, Rob was talking earlier about the person that has the RV that's touring. Absolutely. This is the type of thing. Great. Yeah. If you got the money for an RV, you got the money for this. And 
And I know a lot of farmers that use these as utility vehicles, oh, not yeah. just as fun vehicles. Yeah, absolutely. So you can throw in some hay to go out and feed the cattle and take care of the horses and have some fun to boot with it. Yeah, and, and they have more than just this particular type oh. of a model. There's a... Oh, there's one over there. That, uh, when I was out in uh, Sedona, right back behind us, there's a blue Kawasaki there with yeah. two rows of seats. And I rode one in Sedona, Arizona that actually, almost exactly like that, that had three rows of seats that we could fit 12, fit 12 people in. Wow, that's pretty big and for a uh, small little vehicle. Well, and it, it did exactly the same types of things a Jeep would do as well, the way it climbs over rocks. You've got a lot of distance between the bottom yes. of your, of your uh, what do they call those things? you got the between the bottom of your vehicle <laughs> and the ground. So you've got clearance. Yeah, you got some clearance, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, so, great vehicle here we got too. some more stuff to look at. Let's Let's move on. Okay, let's do it. You got it. Now here's here's a utility, a great little utility vehicle, ATV, uh, that a lot of the farmers and so forth will use as well. I, I've seen them do everything from carry cattle or calves on the back yeah. of it. Uh, down in Louisiana, this is gonna sound crazy, but I've seen it in Louisiana as well. I've seen them go out and do alligator hunting. Down in the down in the bayous of Louisiana. Yeah. And uh, a lot of times they have little boat that called Peter. Take that out, but sometimes they can't get for the alligator part. And I've actually seen them uh, kill the alligators when they're alligator fishing, and load the alligators across the back <laughs> ramp there too. That's pretty cool when you That's see that. And then, funny. and if you're if you're really good, you can get too. two alligators up here. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing I think to remember about these right here, they are generally in most states, including Kansas, they are not street legal. Right. Right. We're uh, talking about that. And they don't have the safety devices, and I would encourage parents great device to have for the farm or the ranch yeah. uh, for fun uh, for hunting for all, uh, this one right here would be great for camouflage purposes if you're hunting deer yeah. or something but do not ride them on the streets and certainly do not allow children to ride those on the streets yeah. make sure you have your helmet and safety equipment as well but yeah. you're looking here probably anywhere between seven and ten and this particular camouflage unit right here with the double rack it's right at 94 and, uh, and the price is very, the great little, yeah. great little bit. And you would, you'd fit on there just great too. I'm sure I would. I'm sure you would. Yeah. It's strapped across the front. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll, well, we'd say that for Keith and Robin. We'd put okay. Keith on the front to do the video. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Robin on the back to hear the oohs and the ahs and oh God help me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. We got some more to look at. <laughs> Hi, this is Mike Furches with Real People, Real Life at Mid America Power Sports. Back with you with my friend Jen here in Wichita, Kansas, America. America. We're kind of walking around looking at some of the motorcycles. They have a great showroom of new bikes here. Uh, we look at some watercraft, we look at ATV vehicles, off-road vehicles. We're trying to find a bike. When we first came in, you didn't know if you could find the one that fits you. Yeah, because I'm, I'm only five foot three. So it's so short. One, short. Of the, one of the criteria that you want to find out is if you're riding a bike, if you stand up, that you're going to be able to keep both feet on the ground. You're doing that comfortably right here. I am. And this is a little, what is this, a little boulevard, 650? It is a Suzuki Boulevard. It's a little boulevard, 650, and uh, not bad little motorcycles, I would say, from my knowledge of them. Uh, this one fits you well, it but you're you making notice. This is why it's important to come into the store in a place like this. You were talking that on this one right here that the seat didn't feel real comfortable. Right. So we tried out another one over there, and when I sat down, I didn't... I didn't have any hesitation. The seat didn't feel like it was too wide, but as soon as I sat down on this one, I kind of feel like it's pushing my legs out. But, uh, so, you know, maybe that's not the best fit. Yeah, that, that, I would agree with you that you want to find a bike that you fit really comfortable with. Now, just over to our right here are some Vulcans, and behind us are some Vulcans. They're making those actually now to where those are somewhat adjustable to the rider. That's but, really cool. But you want to cut, if, just as you would test drive a car, you're going to want to come in, you're going to get the feel of a motorcycle, get that license. Uh, you, and I would recommend getting your license first before you test drive one. I would never recommend buying a motorcycle without test riding it first. That's okay. just my recommendation. And and that fit on your rear end when you're sitting there is incredibly important. Do you have any idea why? Well, I would imagine that it has a lot to do with your spine and, and especially long term riding. I would think that would get uncomfortable. Exactly right. That's one of the reasons you want to be real careful. You'll make sure it gives you some support in your lower back, which are trying to do. The model next to us there is doing a good job of that, giving a little bit of support to the, uh, to the rider. But mm -hmm. the seat, you can get different kinds of seats, different kinds of brands will have different types of seats. That's going to give you a different comfort level. Yeah. And if you're riding long distance, it's not as bad as it used to be. Back when I first started riding in the 1970s, there was the uh, Enduros and bikes. They did not have the suspension system. I remember Evil Knievel real well, for example. Oh, yeah. I do, and, too. And those Harley Davidsons that he rode, they didn't have any suspension, which yeah. made it incredible. When he wrecked, he, he slammed hard. But now he with did. the suspension on the bikes, 
it gives you a lot of comfort. So you want to be comfortable as a rider, and you can find you can find a motorcycle. I'm certain that would be comfortable for you to take a long ride on. Okay. Usually, I recommend about two to two and a half hours uh, maximum. You know, you're going to have to refuel by then anyway. <laughs> but uh, to find one that's comfortable, but you can see. A 650 is a good size engine, yeah. And uh, here's one that you can ride and and fit on just to find one that's a little bit more comfortable for you. How important is um, a handlebar reach or whatever you want to call that? You know, different. I think it's incredibly important. It, and again, it's going to vary on the rider. When I ride, I like to keep my elbows in just a little yeah. bit. And then there's people that like them out. Yeah. And then there's what they call the ape bars. Ape, ape hangers. Yeah, the ape hangers, <laughs> and they, and I don't know how those guys ride those, but they do, and they like them. They're supposed to be comfortable, uh, and then they make a mid-level ape hanger okay, that's about yeah. right here as well. I used uh, to call those monkey bars. Yeah, <laughs> you can call them all kinds of things. You <laughs> know, they have the suicide seat. and you're not going to find anything like that here. No. Those are custom features yeah. that you're going to put on your bike. So yeah, I always thought that looked incredibly uncomfortable, but I don't know, you yeah. know, because I've never really, I've never driven one. Well, there's a clientele that kind of goes with that image yeah. sometimes. I don't know if you fit that clientele I or not. I don't think I do. So I suppose I, I might. could if I, I might. tried, but I don't. Yeah. I might, but I, I wouldn't throw you on the back of it and call you my old lady or nothing. For the hey, for, no, for the viewers that, for I've the viewers that. that for the viewers that are watching, if Robin was here, she may be able to verify this. That's an affectionate term that it you is. give to your female companion on the back of the motorcycle. So now, Mike, you're making some assumptions here. I actually had a, an ex biker as a an in my ex husband. So you know, I've been around. I just never rode one. Rode one. Myself. Well, and you haven't given me any other indications. I'm not saying. <laughs> You cannot judge a book by its cover, dear. <laughs> They're telling us to wind this segment up. I know. Up. Well, I want to say thanks. Okay. You know, this has actually been pretty educational for me as a newbie writer, uh, as a newbie wannabe writer, and the selection out here is pretty fantastic, pretty I think. There is one more bike if we got a little bit of time. I'd just yeah. like to mention briefly if we got a little bit of time on it. So, yeah. So, we'll be, we'll be back, and I'll show you a classic bike that this store handles that very few stores handle new ones like they do. Awesome. Okay. I'd love to see it. Okay. Hi, this is Mike Furchis and Jen with Real People Real Life in Wichita, Kansas, America, back at you. And uh, I want to do this one last bike here. I don't care what kind of bi bicycle, what kind of motorcycle, <laughs> bicycles as well. I don't care what kind of motorcycle you drive or ride. Uh, I don't care if you're a Harley, an Indian rider, or whatever. This motorcycle is known as the Cadillac of touring. It is the classic touring cruising motorcycle on the planet that is the Honda Gold one uh, I've rode them driven them they are incredible and I have a buddy of mine that used to teach motorcycle safety here in Wichita and he used to kill me that he had a microwave built into his that's probably not much of an exaggeration got Jen back here Jen how's it feel to be in the back seat you know, this is like sitting in a freaking recliner and yeah. there's so much room between me and the back of Mike it's crazy it's it's just super comfortable. Yeah, very comfortable. I mean, you, you could probably imagine going on a long ride and stopping oh, every couple of hours and feeling totally comfortable. Yeah. My but back is completely supported. Yeah. Uh, and this one it has everything from a CB radio, AM, FM radio, cassette. This one has a uh, cruise device on it. It has a uh, GPS on it. Everything you can imagine. Now, this motorcycle is not cheap. It runs retail about 28000 and they got it right now for 1500 off. And if you come in to the store here, you're going to see a lot of different bikes with the big stickers on it where they have the markdowns as low as they're going to get in the year, and it's usually the last one they have. But this bike right here, uh, I've got a buddy, like I said, that he drives down to Florida from Wichita, Kansas a couple of times a year on his. And he's what they call an iron seat rider. And that's where you have to have thousands of miles under your butt. And uh, these motorcycles are incredible. And I wanted you to go on the back just. Even, oh, if you, yeah. even if you're not riding, you can see how comfortable, comfortable it is yeah. if you're a passenger. It's incredible. Yeah. This is not like what I remember bikes being when I was a kid, no. that's for sure. We could even turn on and listen to ACDC. Exactly. If we wanted to. I'll... Yeah, this whole dashboard looks more like a car than a bike. Yeah. yeah. In my, you know, from what I know. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. It bike. is. So come on down, check out the motorcycles, uh, your wave runners, your water vehicles, your off road vehicles. If you want something new, it's there. This store is kind of cool. I come into it often to buy supplies. If I'm buying a part for my motorcycle, there's a parts and supply department here. There's people that can work on your motorcycle as well. So uh, they're good in that regard. And come down, and give them a check, and yeah. maybe maybe we should talk Robin and Keith into buying this one for us. As Absolutely. A, yeah. 
Well, but wait a minute. <laughs> Mary Jane's not going to let me go on a long trip with Well, you. we'll take turns. Okay. Well, so <laughs> okay. Maybe, there's one over there I think they could put three people on. All three on, of us on it? Okay. We'll get a sidecar. That's the ticket. Uh, yeah. We'll there you go. <laughs> All righty. Well, so. uh, once again, Mike, thank you so much for kind of the educational and all of this stuff. Now I really, really want to buy one and learn how to ride. Make, Which, sure, make sure you give them my name so I'll get a commission I if will. you do that. I absolutely <laughs> will. Uh, thanks, everybody, for checking us out. And definitely come on down. Check out the specials before all the bikes are gone. <laughs>